How to Attract Money by Joseph Murphy Have you ever dreamed of living an extraordinary life, a life where wealth is not just a desire but a tangible reality? Imagine for a moment, a breathtaking villa where luxury and beauty intertwine, prestigious cars waiting silently in the driveway, unforgettable evenings spent on a yacht, with the sunset painting the sky in impossible colors, or the possibility of offering your children an unparalleled education, opening the doors of the world to them. These are not mere fantasies, but expressions of a full, happy, and yes, abundant life. But what is really at the heart of these images? It's not so much the bank account that defines our happiness, but rather what we can do with it, have soul-enriching experiences, create unforgettable memories, feel fulfilled and supported. Money, in this context, becomes a tool, a means to build the life we desire. And here comes a fundamental truth, you deserve to be rich. Yes, you heard right. You deserve to live a life that knows no limits, a life where your happiness and well-being come first. This doesn't mean blindly chasing money, but rather embracing abundance in all its forms, allowing yourself to live fully. If these words awaken in you a desire for change, for evolution towards a reality where material well-being merges with spiritual well-being, then you are in the right place. Through this video book, we will guide you on a journey of discovery and transformation, teaching you to review your relationship with money and attract unprecedented wealth and possibilities towards you. Don't let your life be an echo of what could have been. Embrace possibility, change, abundance. Stay tuned to this video book, and together we'll explore how to turn your wildest dreams into tangible realities. Are you ready to embark on this journey? So, don't wait a moment longer. Be inspired, and transform your life into a masterpiece of wealth and possibility. This video book is a summary of the original work. You can find the complete book published by the author at the link in the description of this video. Before continuing with the viewing, we ask you to support us by subscribing to the channel and activating the bell. Stay with us until the end of the video and let us know what you think. Thank you. Why do we tend to romanticize poverty and demonize wealth? Popular culture, through films and TV series, often portrays money as a source of corruption and moral decline. Yet, money itself does not possess an evil or benevolent nature, it is simply a tool, a means to facilitate the exchange of goods and services. It's time to dispel the myth that money is the root of all evil. Thinking of money as an enemy can be not only limiting but dangerous. We need to start seeing it for what it really is, a symbol of exchange. When you want more money, you're actually longing for the freedom and opportunities it can offer you. It's about being able to give a jewel to someone you love, going shopping without fear of the card being rejected, or guaranteeing a better future for your children. The desire for a better life is deeply human and absolutely legitimate. Reconsidering money not as an end but as a means opens up new perspectives. There is nothing wrong with wanting safety, health, happiness, quality education, or a peaceful future for your loved ones. It's natural to want the tools that make these accomplishments possible. The belief that poverty is synonymous with virtue and wealth with evil is an obstacle to achieving your financial goals. True, people can do reprehensible things to get money or use it in harmful ways. However, if we interpret money as a symbol of exchange rather than an ultimate goal, the idea that it is intrinsically evil becomes unfounded. Just like electricity, which can light up a house or cause damage, it is not inherently good or bad. The way we perceive wealth directly influences our relationship with money. To transform your financial reality, it is crucial to examine and correct any ingrained negative beliefs. Let's explore together how to reconfigure our financial mindset, to welcome abundance into our lives without guilt or unfounded fears. Changing our perception of money can not only improve our financial situation but also enrich our lives in ways we never imagined. Have you ever thought about how deeply what you believe can shape the course of your life? Beliefs are like the architect of our destiny, 
building or demolishing bridges to our dreams and aspirations. In this intricate fabric of reality and perception, a principle emerges as simple as it is revolutionary, it is you, with your beliefs, who hold the power to transform your existence into a work of art full of abundance. The story I'm about to tell you is living proof of this truth. Once upon a time, in a distant land, there was an Australian man who had a burning dream in his heart, to become a doctor. His circumstances, however, seemed to work against him, he lacked college funds, and even graduating from high school was a goal he hadn't yet achieved. His day was spent in the corridors of a doctor's office, cleaning and polishing, not the classrooms of a medical school. For many, this situation could have marked the end of the journey, an insurmountable wall dotted with, I can't, it's too late, I'm not enough. But not for him. Every evening, as the moon rose high in the sky, this man fell asleep with the vivid image of his name engraved on those diplomas he cleaned every day, refusing to give in to doubts and fears. Destiny, as often happens, listens to those silent but firm voices that echo deep in the soul. One of the doctors, witnessing this man's passion and dedication, decided to take him under his wing, setting him on the path to becoming a technical assistant. From there, the journey took a magical turn, that doctor, Struck by the determination and talent of his protege, decided to finance his return to school and, subsequently, his university course in medicine. The conclusion to this story is worthy of a movie, the man who once dreamed in the shadows of a doctor's office became a respected doctor in Montreal, turning his wildest dream into a splendid reality. This narrative is much more than just a success story, it is a powerful warning about the strength of convictions. Every negative thought you discard, every doubt you overcome, opens the door to a universe of possibilities. Beliefs, in fact, act on the subconscious like a compass, guiding us, often without us being aware of it, towards the realization of our deepest desires. Remember, therefore, that the power to change your life, to navigate towards shores of success and abundance, lies in your hands, or rather, in your mind. It's time to question and reformulate your beliefs, to transform your dreams into unassailable certainties. Close your eyes, imagine your success, and then, with courage and determination, make it a reality. Have you ever heard that the way you think can transform your reality? Think positive is a common mantra, but putting it into practice is far from simple. Negative thoughts often work in the shadows of our mind, emerging without us realizing it. What if I told you that there is a method to influence this flow of thoughts, to direct it towards prosperity and abundance? This method is called positive affirmations, and it can be a powerful tool for personal transformation. Imagine yourself in a quiet place, away from the daily hustle and bustle. It could be the moment before you fall asleep or a moment of peace during the day. Let your mind open to deep reflections on wealth. What does it mean for you? Where does it come from and how does it move around the world? The moment you feel you have reached a peaceful meditative state, start repeating positive affirmations related to wealth to yourself. This act, for the author, comes close to a form of prayer, a recognition that abundance was created in the world to be freely shared and that, through these affirmations, we can overcome the subconscious obstacles that separate us from wealth. But be careful, the statements must be sincere. Telling yourself, I'm rich, when you don't really feel it can be counterproductive. If you only have a few pennies in your wallet, claiming to be rich might seem absurd to you. So start with statements that you yourself can believe. My financial situation is improving every day. Every day, in every way, I am becoming more and more prosperous. These phrases pave the way for real progress, because they are based on growth that you yourself can perceive. Over time, as your approach to money and success becomes more positive, you will find that bolder statements become natural and believable. If you can view your success as inevitable, then every step you take in that direction will feel not only possible, but natural. Begin this journey with small steps, affirmations that resonate with you and your current situation. Little by little, you will be able to elevate your internal dialogue, and with it, 
your external reality. Abundance awaits you, you just have to start believing it, one thought at a time. Have you ever considered that every time you envy the success of others, you are actually subtracting value from yourself? Learning to attract wealth is not just limited to cultivating positive thoughts about your financial situation, it also extends to how we perceive the success of others. Jealousy, envy, and bitterness not only poison your spirit but corrode your relationship with finances. By letting such feelings take over, you feed those parts of your subconscious that see deficiency rather than abundance, thus hindering your ability to realize your full potential. Imagine for a moment a common situation in the world of work, your colleague receives a promotion that you hoped would go to you. If your first reaction is to think that you have been robbed, this perception can lead you to mentally detach yourself from the company or your job. It is human to focus on what? On the contrary, feeling happiness for your colleague's success may seem counterintuitive, but it is an act of great inner strength. Rejoicing in other people's victories not only frees you from acrimony, but keeps your level of commitment and openness towards future opportunities high. By doing this, you cultivate positive relationships that could prove invaluable to your professional advancement. Remember, true abundance occurs when we appreciate and celebrate other successes as much as our own. This attitude not only improves our emotional well-being but opens the doors to infinite possibilities. Instead of perceiving wealth as a limited good, where someone else's success means fewer opportunities for you, see abundance as an infinite sea from which we can all draw. Changing this perspective takes practice and awareness, but the benefits that come from it are immeasurable. Not only will you improve your relationship with money, but you will also transform the way you interact with the world around you. Before we dive into the last part of this video book, I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel. If this video has inspired you or given you food for thought, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and activate the bell so you don't miss any future updates. Thank you. Continuing, the next time you are faced with another success, choose to be the first to congratulate them. This simple gesture can mark the beginning of a profound transformation in your life, leading you on a path of true abundance and fulfillment. Improving your psychological relationship with your finances is key to attracting money. Training your subconscious to have positive thoughts about money will lead to better decisions and a richer life. Your beliefs shape your reality, so be aware of how you view your wealth and the wealth of others, and use positive affirmations to address your subconscious doubts about your capacity for wealth. You are the captain of your ship. Point it in the direction you want to go and the rest will follow. You are absolutely capable of living an abundant life and having the money to support it. The only thing holding you back is you. Likewise, acquiring wealth at the expense of others can negatively impact your relationship with money. Consider the example of a woman who, during the war, knew that coffee would be rationed. He went from store to store, buying all the coffee he could store in his house. Later, while she was out, someone broke in and stole her entire stock, as well as her jewelry in silver. The lady would claim that she had never stolen. However, he had a deficient mentality and hoarding coffee was to the detriment of everyone else. By allowing her negative thoughts to guide her, she negatively impacted others and created exactly what she was afraid of. The fear of missing created lack. Before we dive into the last part of this video book, I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel. If this video has inspired you or given you food for thought, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and activate the bell so you don't miss any future updates. Thank you. Remember that money is the symbol of exchange. Having money in itself does not make you rich, but money is a mechanism for experiences or feelings of stability. If the means by which you earn money negatively impacts your future experiences or feelings, you are simply robbing your future self. Ask yourself, what is the purpose of attracting money? This is not a trick question or an attack on the morality of having money. It is a reminder not to lose sight of the goal in pursuit of the symbol. 
Improving our psychological connection with finances is crucial to inviting abundance into our lives. Educate your subconscious to have positive thoughts about money, and you'll find that this will lead to wiser choices and a more prosperous existence. Your beliefs shape the world around you. Become aware of how you perceive your financial situation and that of others, and use positive affirmations to overcome the doubts that hinder your ability to embrace wealth. Remember, you are the helmsman of your life. Set your course towards the goals you want to reach, and the rest will follow. You have what it takes to live a wealthy existence, supported by adequate financial resources. The only obstacle between you and this future is yourself. On the other hand, trying to accumulate possessions at the expense of others can ruin your relationship with money. Let's take the example of a woman who, anticipating coffee rationing during a period of war, stockpiled all the supplies she could, only to suffer a theft that took away not only her coffee but also her jewelry and silverware. This woman believed she hadn't stolen from anyone, but her scarcity mentality, acting to the detriment of the community, ended up attracting the same lack she feared. The fear of not having enough has generated that very deficiency. Money is, after all, a symbol of exchange. Owning it does not in itself make you rich, it's what you can do with it that creates wealth, experiences, or a sense of stability. If the way you accumulate money harms your future experiences or well-being, you are simply subtracting value from your future. Ask yourself, what is the ultimate purpose of attracting money? This question is not meant to be a trick or a criticism of the legitimacy of owning money, but rather a warning not to lose sight of the essence while chasing the symbol. Recognizing the true value and meaning of wealth is the first step towards living a full and satisfying life, in harmony with ourselves and the world around us. Well we have finished with this video, see you next time from, audiobooks to listen to.